Now on to the end of the year report, which we move from presentation. Now, Chief Bell. Well, good evening, council, council um, staff, and audience. <laughs> um, I'm actually very excited to introduce the West Covina Police Department's first annual review. Um, a little more than a year ago, I visited a couple of agencies and I saw that they had uh, what they called a review. Other agencies call it something different. We're calling ours the, ours the an annual review. And when you opened it up, it gave a lot of statistical data that just made sense. Um, over the last year or so, we've been talking a lot about transparency and I think this meets that need. Once you see it, you're gonna be really excited about it. So I brought the idea back. I actually spoke with the mayor about a little more than a year ago, and we talked about numbers and being transparent, and she said, I think it's a great idea. So this project that you're about to see has taken a year, it's been a year in the, in the, in the process, and my goal was to have it ready by the second council meeting in January. Well, we, we were able to meet that goal, and so it's ready. Um, I will briefly, uh, um, the annual review was designed for the police department to become more transparent, obviously, to the community. And tonight, you will briefly, we will briefly highlight some of the areas. I want you to know we're not going to go over page by page, but we're going to briefly highlight some of those areas. Um, it contains a behind-the-scenes look at the police department. Um, we will look at some positive things, along with some struggles that we've had in the past. Um, there's a lot of data, some comparisons, things like that. Um, and... Uh, you will be introduced to every department in the police department when you look at this. More importantly, you will get a good glimpse of the hard work and dedication that our men and women, both sworn and non-sworn, actually do in the city of West Covina. So I'm really excited about it. After this presentation, um, you yourselves, along with the community, upon your approval, will have an opportunity to peruse the entire book for yourself and look at its contents. You actually have the whole year to ask me any questions you want. Um, and I, uh, I have to put this out because I know someone will ask, when you look at the pictures, when we get to some of those pictures, those pictures were actually taken in 2019, not 2020. Because of COVID, we weren't able to gather the way that we're supposed to. So we took some of the events that we were doing in 2019 because those were the ones we, we did quite often and we presented those instead. So don't get alarmed if you see groups of people without masks on. It's because it was from 2019. So my goal is to have an annual review every year going forward. And I think once you see it, you will really like it. Um, I also want to make sure that if there is a organization out there that we somehow missed, um, if there's someone we didn't acknowledge, I want to say please charge it to my heart. Um, it wasn't on purpose. We tried to put as much as we could with the budget we had, but I think you're really going to like what we came out with. So at this time, I would like to ask our lieutenant to come down. This is Lieutenant Tim Rogers. Um, he has been very instrumental in putting this together, and he is going to walk you through um, our annual review. And I'll be back. It is still good evening. It's not morning yet. It's getting, getting close, though. Council and city staff. Um, I'm just going to walk us through this just real briefly. Um, there will be a hard copy that each of you will get. Uh, it's also on, it will be on our website. Under the About tab, it'll say the Annual Review. Um, and you'll be able to click on that. And when you do so, it's going to open up like this. So we'll just go over a few pages, a couple highlights. So when you flip here, it talks about our strategic plan, and the chief talked about um, being transparent and letting the community know what their police department, what their goals are, where we want to go into the future, and things like that. And in our strategic plans, we talk about technology. Um, our technology, we're going to have um, a new CAT RMS system coming on board, I think, in two weeks, the beginning of February, Mark 43. We have new camera upgrade, upgrades, and we have new employee training software that keeps and stores all the training that the employees, individual employees do. Um, we talk about strengthening our community, different community events. Obviously with COVID, it's been a little bit, a little bit more difficult to do those things. But again, these are some things that, we're look, that we looked forward to in 2019 and 2020 that we were able to accomplish. In 
introduces our command staff. Um, service area policing is big, big in the police department, and so we want to make sure we address the community and they know who to contact. If they have an issue in their service area, you'll see on here our names, our uh, email addresses, and the phone numbers they can reach us, and, and so they'll be able to contact us. When we touch on patrol, it's the backbone of, of any police agency. They handle the calls for service that come over the radio, that come through dispatch. And so we're able to give the city a glimpse of what they might do. And if you look there, my eyes are not as good as they used to be, but you'll see quite a large number of calls for service that we handle. Along with traffic and cadets in our community service, these are all numbers that the community will be able to see. Along with patrol, once officers handle calls or go to crime reports, they go to the detective bureau. And the detectives handle thousands of cases every year. This last year was somewhere around 4,000 cases that they investigated over the year. Again, they'll get a glimpse of what happens once it goes from the report onto the police department into the detective bureau. Dispatch, usually the first person somebody talks to is a dispatch. And you can see here the number of calls that they handle is over 150,000 calls that they're answering, at least in 2020. Let me go back just one page. You have our crime analyst and our victim's advocate. The crime analyst is um, Erica Taylor. She's a large part of working with the Detective Bureau and gathering the, st the statistics and kind of crime trends and helping them solve crimes. And uh, Erica Taylor, she's our victim's advocate. That's a service that we provide our victims that they're able to communicate and get services from them. And again, it, this will give them an idea of what services are offered by our victim's advocate. Uh, training's really important, um, especially in today's day and age. Everybody's concerned with the training the police department gets. We, we need to be professional. We need to be, maintain our training standards. This police department has always maintained a very high level of training and has done so since I've been here. And this is just a glimpse of how much training we've attended in 2019 and 2020. Um, there's a lot more training involved, but it would probably take up multiple pages. But this is just a glimpse of the training that we attend on an annual basis. And then like the chief spoke, we have a look ahead to 2021. He wants, we're gonna do this every year. And this talks about our goals in our upcoming year, what the police department is looking forward to. And we have, I believe we have a simulator on there, which again is more training. Um, and we have um, other items that the community will see where their police department's gonna go in the future. Community connection, again, some of these were from uh, 2019, some of these 2020, but the, the way the review is designed, you look at 2019 and 2020 in a comparison. So you have the torch run, you have tip a cop, canine toy drive, chat with the chief, coffee with a cop, and sometimes the community doesn't always know we are out there doing those things to interact with the community. So it's important for them to get a glimpse of kind of what we do. Unfortunately, like the chief spoke, 2020 wasn't as friendly to us to be able to get out with the community, but we, we do the best we can. photos and, and like always we never want to forget our fallen officers these three officers are the officers that gave their ultimate sacrifice for the community of West Covina um, so we always want to remember them in everything we do Frederick Cam Jay Jackson and Kenneth Reedy gave the ultimate sacrifice for the community of West Covina so we always want to remember them and they will always be back there in our memory and then um, we have our links to our website and our social media. Um, these are all hyperlinked. You'll be able to go to it. This link to this uh, review will be on there. You'll be able to go and click and get on there. As well, on the back, you'll see the website, Florida Police Department's website. When you go to that website, it'll click and it'll hyperlink to the website where you'll find this review. Um, that brings us to my conclusion, but I want to thank you guys for giving us the time to share this with you. Um, the one person I just want to thank really quick, it'll be really brief, is, is Alexis. She's a, she's a rock star, um, and this, this wouldn't be possible without her.
them go ahead and stay up. Actually, I'd like to thank uh, everyone in the police department that participated in this. Like I said, this has taken a year to accumulate this data, but I gave it to Tim and Alexa. Alexa's coming up here. Alexa Naplis, she is our community relationships uh, person. She has really taken on this role and made it her own. What I gave her was my vision. What she did was she brought it to life. And you guys are now in possession of the books that she brought to life. Uh, each of you have three of them, but when you look at it, you can see how professional it's done. You can see that we have really dove into the data that you're going to have uh, questions for, but you'll have the answers right before you. But I cannot thank Alexa enough for what she's done. I mean, she took it and made it her own, and I am just so excited about her. Come on up here. I want everybody to see you. Step right up here <laughs> because everybody needs to see her. Um, she's only been with us for three years, but when I tell you she took the bull by the horn, she did exactly that. We didn't have to give her much guidance. Obviously, Tim is a supervisor, uh, but he just basically kept her in line. But she took off, and she really made this what it was today. So I want to thank you. Uh, there are others. Um, uh, that I'd like to thank briefly, uh, Brandon Carmen, another lieutenant, uh, Erica Taylor, gathering some of the data. And I believe, um, believe it or not, uh, there's a young lady by the name of Katrina Rodriguez who works for CCR Innovation Marketing. And the reason I bring her up is because we were crunched at a deadline and we needed this book yesterday. She met that, that, that deadline and she got us the books yesterday, so I'm really excited about it. I wish we had more people to really make this uh, what it is, but... When people go back and look at this, as you look at the books, um, I think you'll be excited. Thank yeah. you. And I have a few more books. We didn't print a whole lot, but um, if the city so desires, we have the connection. We can get some more printed. I am so happy. I'm so excited. I know this was one of my projects that I obviously hit Chief Bell with last year because uh, especially during that time when we were getting hit with the defunding police, they didn't see what I saw. And I know our department. I'm very proud of our police department, and I know you guys do so much for the community, but the problem was nobody knew about it. And so when I brought this to the chief uh, more than a year ago, and I was on him all the time, I did not expect this. I'm very impressed, and I just wanted to say you guys did a fabulous job. This is just amazing. It hits everything. It's more than what I expected. And I just wanted to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I greatly appreciate this, and I, you impressed me. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, go ahead, Councilman Wu. Okay, uh, and uh, very impressive. Okay, I think this is uh, this is just uh, okay, outstanding. It's very good. But I have a question. But did you have a link for recruitment? Okay, for people to apply. Okay, or something that uh, standard. Okay, for people so people can click. Okay, and they put their submit their application because I think recruitment or internship, I think this is you want to create, okay, and develop our future talent. Sure. Um, our website has a recruitment link. So if you were to go to our website, so the, there's two different, if you go to our website, there's a tab that says about. You click on the about tab and there'll be a sub tab that says annual review. You click on that. Next to those tabs is a recruitment tab. You click on the recruitment tab, and all the recruiting is there. It takes you, takes you to the geo site where it has all the openings, not only for the police department but for the city. And then there's recruiting pages that tells you about the police department, what positions, what the positions entail, salaries and stuff like that. That's all on our department website. And the internship, okay, any qualification do you state it for people want to apply as the internship? It goes through the hiring process and what it, what it entails. So what those standards are. For people, they want to apply and they want to get some kind of uh, t taste of uh, government, especially police department, and they want to be kind of, uh, okay, see they can fit in or be qualified for the future as a working the police. Not, not necessarily SWARM, but non SWARM too, including your dispatcher. So that can be potential internship. Sure. So when you go to the website, if you click the recruitment link and, if, and you go to the recruitment for our department, police officer, police recruit, dispatcher, it tells you what the qualifications are. There will be tabs within there that you can click on qualifications, minimum qualifications, benefits, all of those things. My last question, I don't want to take too much time because it will go to midnight already. So, 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 okay, do you get the promotion to let people, let our resident know we have this? I think we should, you should yes. promote. So tomorrow we're going to be doing, um, I think it's already scheduled to be um, put out on our social media. 
The link will be out there um, so everybody can go on it. Um, and she'll put it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, we, I think she's got our Instagram users up to over 12,000. Um, it's going to be on our website. The link's already ready to go. Just hit send and away it goes. How many editions do we can send out to the people can pick it up, okay, and look in, okay, and keep this as a their record? How many we I'm going to let the chief answer that one. I'll start back. I think this is something important people want to keep. It, it is very important, but again, under the, under the budget review, you're right. Um, I, I can, we can have a discussion tomorrow about how many more we could or should order. Um, but uh, right now, I have a very limited supply. I want to make sure that you guys had it in case you had some individuals you want to get it to. But we can, we can discuss that further. I don't know if you thought I was going to be able to pull this off or not. I want to tell you right now, it was not I. Right here. She's really good. I know a lot of community events. She's there. She's taking photos. She meets and greets the residents out there. She, you know, she always has a smile on her face and customer service at its finest. So thank you very much. And you have quality work. And I, I love to see, you know, the integrity, the quality. It, it just shows you put in a lot of hard work in it. And you know, we greatly appreciate it and we hope the residents can uh, appreciate this too. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much.